Good afternoon, and today we have an honor of present my favorite doctor, Dr. Felix Liao. Uh, my good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, Dr. Maria. Uh, Dr. Felix has a put missing mouth back on a healthcare map with his four Amazon bestsellers. His book established him as a thought leader in the healthcare innovation and expert in the airway center mouth doctor. Dr. Felix coined the term impaired mouth syndrome, which we find out a lot today. And in 2017, to highlight mouth structure, pivotal role in many medical, dental and mood syndromes. He has shown that correcting impaired mouth can break through many problems resistant to standard treatment. He's championed cross-training for healthcare professionals to integrate mind, body, and the mouth. And Dr. Liao is author of five books. And I read them and I learned so much from them. So I'm going to start with telling my personal story of knowing Dr. Felix. I learned about him even before I knew him from Dr. Beazle, who taught me a lot of orthodontics in general wonderful knowledge and he told me you have to be just like him he listened to my lectures on developing or on analyzing sasuni plus six times i also listened four times but you know obviously a lot to learn so my uh, message to our audience if you're medical and dental professionals please use our channel as a networking ground this way we can find all missing links to uh, very dangerous sleep and breathing disorders. And if you someone who have a trouble sleeping or sleep next to the snoring partner, please put like and share button. This way you can spread the word about our channel. So my first question to you, Dr. Felix, tell me how did you become interested in a whole health, whole health approach? Thank you for the opportunity. Very glad to join you and your audience. Um, so I first got out of dental school as an engineer. And um, after I worked for Con Edison in New York City for one summer, I went straight to dental school. And then when I got to dental school and started seeing patients, I thought, wow, how come there is so much teeth grinding? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, teeth are the hardest tissue the body has. Why would the body want to grind it away? I asked my professor and didn't have any satisfaction. I mean, what the hell does the night guard do? It doesn't stop any teeth grinding, all right? So it became a nagging question. I can't tell you why, but I just went on and on and on, took all kinds of courses until 2010 when I discovered one line answer to that question, Dr. Miller. Teeth grinding is one frame in a movie. The movie is called Airway Obstruction During Sleep. I said, ah, there it is, okay? So it's sleep and it's airway and it's mouth, not just teeth grinding. That's a very nice answer. I would like to ask you, what exactly mean impaired mouth syndrome? Okay. Great question. So impaired mouth structure is actually critical to your airway and to your sleep. So what do I mean by impaired mouth structure? When you have crowded teeth, when you have clicking jaw joints, when you have tongue tie, when you have oversized tongue, okay, and undersized jaws. So the title of my first book is called Six Foot Tiger, Three Foot Cage, okay? So that refers to the jaw being too small and the space in between them is too little for the tongue. So that drives the tongue into the throat and therefore it takes up airway space. And therefore you don't get enough oxygen during sleep and therefore you have to grind your teeth and on and on and on and on. So I call it impaired mouth as a defective infrastructure uh, that could lead to airway obstruction and low oxygen supply, hypoxia, if you will. And hypoxia leads to premature aging and degeneration. So this is a critical mouth structure that is necessary for the whole body to work. 
And so out of the impaired mouth come a vast set of medical, dental, mood, and cerebral problems, brain problems that uh, uh, relies on oxygen and energy to get well and stay well. So that's what impaired mouth syndrome is. I would like to ask you what to do, what would be the solution for impaired mouth syndrome? Ah, very smart doctor, excellent question. So first you have to know what's wrong before you can treat it. So what's wrong is in part, I learned from Dr. Beisel that you mentioned earlier, Dr. Rich Beisel, our common mentor. So he has a method for figuring out what's off where and by how much. And you need to know that as your GPS, when you're practicing as an airway mouth doctor, so you know what you're treating. So is the jaw too squat? So think of the mouth as a accordion okay an accordion could expand in three dimensions side to side up and down and front and back well let's say your accordion when you were growing up only opened up to 50 percent now you're only getting 50 percent of your airway you have crowded teeth and you're clicking jaw joints and now you have to grind your teeth and you're going to have problems okay so the picture on the left you see is an example of a partial development from an impaired mouth. So the airway is partially developed because the mouth structure is too small. You got a three foot cage for a six foot tiger. So now we have a way to expand that into a wider airway naturally, okay? Naturally means that we don't import a genetic modified organism. We don't give you drugs. We don't even do surgery on your jaws. The most we do is release your tongue tie, okay? And when needed, we use an oral appliance to help grow your jaw from 50% to 80 to 90%. Now your airway opens up and your choke zone goes away. And this appliance never is given by itself in my practice, in the AMDs who are trained to do this method it always goes with a bone building diet. So next slide, please. The uh, bone building diet consists of very simple liquid salad. So you make your own green smoothies, all right? You can add a banana or avocado and um, um, arugula and whatever seasonal fruit that's in season and blend it together. You can take in the best of the plant kingdom. All the bio, bioflavonoids are in there. On the right, it's called bone broth. Underneath the leeks and the tomatoes is a pair of turkey wings, okay? You plug into a, a, a for $3.02 on sale, okay? And you plug that into a crock pot overnight, then next, next morning you have bone broth. It does not get simpler than that. Even this bachelor can do it, okay? All right, so. When the body has the bone building ingredient, the face can grow. And so the airway can grow, so the jaw can grow. And in the process, we can straighten out teeth naturally. That's a great revolutionary solution. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the fact how you put genes on genes to work. Oh. Yes, this is the part that I find most fascinating. So every one of us inherit genes from our parents. We have a perfect program written into those genes on getting the best face from those genes that we inherit. So I cannot turn you into Julia Roberts. I cannot turn myself into George Clooney, but I can turn you into the best version of you in your genes that you inherit from your parents okay so right now you might be 70 percent i can bring on the rest toward 90 95 percent okay so in that best face that's encoded in your double helix dna genes that you inherit is a perfect 
perfectly functional face with room for all 16 teeth and enough bony real estate around every tooth. Okay, so just like just like at Thanksgiving dinner, every member of the family has a seat at the table. In best face, there's enough jaw bone, uh, enough plot of bone around each tooth for each tooth to take its proper place in the mouth. Does that make sense? Makes sense. When that happens, when that happens, the jaw develop correctly and the rest of the body develop correctly. So this slide shows that the midline, uh, the teeth, upper and lower middles, um, central incisors are just a little bit off. And so this patient came to me um, one year after suffering a traumatic brain injury and couldn't get well. So the husband took her to 25 other doctors in the year since that injury. And I was a 26 doctor uh, this patient saw. And I noticed that her midlines were off and I looked at her uh, leg length. Okay, I learned this from my chiropractor, all right? <laughs> <laughs> your leg length is off, so your neck is off. Your neck is off because your bite is off. Okay, so we connect the dots. So when these midlines are off, you can see that where my thumbs are shows that her leg length are very different. And when I put the appliance in and the midlines are on, the leg length becomes even. After This that, is amazing. Yeah, and after that, she was able to walk and start her journey to recover. This is wonderful. So, I've mm -hmm. sorry so, to interrupt you. I would like to ask you why a lot of people uh, struggle with stiff neck, sore shoulders, low back pain, chronic blood uh, high blood pressure, chronic fatigue, and persistent depression. And in the same time, why the same people have crowding for the low back teeth, teeth grinding, just like we mentioned, snoring, wake up tired, and have adrenal exhaustion. Okay, so this goes back to what we mentioned earlier about impaired mouth syndrome's consequences. So when the mouth doesn't work, the rest of your body cannot work. Okay, so because the mouth is to humans what roots are to plants. You are not only what you eat, you're also how you sleep. And that is dictated by your airway and that airway is dictated by how your jaw grew or failed to grow. Okay, and so you're stuck with an impaired mouth when your jaw fails to grow to its full genetic potential during your teenage years. Okay, so here's a case where the upper jaw is way too narrow. And in the middle picture, you can see that uh, the midlines are way off. And those of you who are dentists, you will notice that on the, to the left of the screen where the molars meet, it's in what we call crossbite. First by it means that the foot is too big and, and the lower jaw and it cannot fit into the upper jaw, the shoe. So when that happens, the mid midline is thrown off and like we show earlier, um, uh, the patient ended up with hip pain. So here is an example of where dentists did excellent crown work on the teeth, but the patient ended up with hip pain. And her hip pain got worse and worse and worse until she came to see me because I fixed one of her friend's lower back pain. And I would like to ask you why bed alignment, I think the bed alignment of the teeth, I think posture, you know, like bed bite affect posture. Why is it happened? Why the whole body becomes so crooked? Okay. so. Uh, we need to, we stand against the uh, uh, gravity, okay? So instead of being four-legged, we're two-legged animals, all right? We have to go up against gravity. And so our entire physiology is built around resisting gravity, around existing in the field of uh, gravity, okay? It's called gravity for a reason. It never stops pulling us toward the grave, right? This way. <laughs> To the grave, okay? So that's the reason why we need to have a body that's level and square like the grid you see behind me, okay? So we need a level and square 
structure, but that's be, uh, but most of the patients show up like this. They are crooked because most of the time when the mouth is crooked and structurally impaired, it's not diagnosed. So the muscles won't be missing in medicine and in dentistry. The medical dental divide and the chiral divide, I might add, it's actually counterproductive to effective healthcare outcome. It's not efficient healthcare. Thank so, you very much, doctor. Yeah, that's yeah, such so a great mouth, answer. So the mouth is the origin. The mouth is the origin of the rest of the body. If you think about how every one of us come into this world, we're given a spank on the fanny to go, wow, and it refills the lungs, right? And then what? We're fed. And what happens after we're fed? We go to sleep. And then we wake up and repeat the cycle, less the spanking, and that's how we grow, right? So the mouse is intimately involved in sleeping, which involves breathing, extracting energy from oxygen in the air, and that helps the oxi um, oxygenation process in the body to help the body function and repair and grow. It depends on your age. So when the mouth is impaired structurally, the rest of the body is stuck behind the proverbial eight ball. You can't do anything good with it, except to fight to survive. That's why to answer your question earlier, why do some people have fatigue? Well, now you know why. You have a six foot tiger in a three foot cage occupying the airway. Why do they have pain? Because they are up against gravity and they don't have a structure that's level and square. And God forbid you had some dental work that didn't take the whole body into account. Uh, now you're seriously in two black balls, two A balls, yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. And I want to mention Dr. Liao for our audience, prepare a gift and you can find the link under his interview uh, and you can download the wonderful knowledge he wants to share with the world, as well as I recommend you to check his website and read the books. They're all on Amazon and I highly recommend them. Thank you very much, doctor. It's my pleasure to join you, Dr. Maria.